Okay, welcome back. So you've successfully recorded your audio files using Zencaster, as well as Audio Hijack for your backup track, and everything is saved and good to go. Now we just want to open them up and import them into GarageBand and uh, start putting it all together successfully. And of course you do that by clicking on GarageBand. And if you already have recorded an episode, it'll pop up just like that, just like it did for me. But we want to start fresh. We want to choose a project and go with empty project here. And if you're going to be doing a recording in person in the future, you can certainly uh, learn more about these particular steps here regarding your input device because that's going to be your Behringer USB or whatever interface you use uh, to record your sound and your audio through your microphone, whether you're recording uh, at home or long distance. Uh, that's something you can definitely look into in the future, but really, we don't need that right now. We don't need input device. Uh, we certainly want our output device to be whatever we're listening to our audio back uh, from, so that would be headphones. You're probably plugging those into your Mac. And honestly, you don't need to worry about any of this right over here because this all pertains to if you're recording uh, a song. So we just pretty much want to click on choose. So th that's pretty much all this is, is really just your headphones. We can click on choose. And then another screen is going to pop up. And as you can see, we are not making music. We are mainly working with audio and microphones and line inputs. So we can basically just ignore guitar, drummer, and software instrument. We just want to work with this option right here. And again, these are going to be for when you record uh, any sort of audio from your microphone directly. So we don't even need to worry about this right now since we're just importing files thanks to Zencaster. So click on the microphone and this should pop up. You don't have to worry about any of these settings here, I would say. Uh, I, I tend to not mess with default just because I, I, I want the sound to be as, just as natural as I heard it while I was recording using Zencaster. And they automatically give you a default Audio One track right here. And we go to Finder because we want to find our recorded MP3s that we just did. And I tend to create folders. I, I do have a tutorial later on file organization because I think that's very important when you're working with multiple audio files. And as you can see, these are all from my uh, recording that I did. And I've labeled them in certain ways that I think are appropriate. Uh, and we just want to click and drag uh, these files into GarageBand. It's, uh, but let's go ahead and get things started. We know that our music intro is going to be playing first, so why not go ahead and put that there? Okay, I do think it's important to note the fact that when you import your file, you have the ability to left-click, hold, and move it to wherever you wish. And and it's really great that GarageBand can help you line up the files in a way that snaps to the grid. So you can click and drag it wherever you need it to go. Uh, you don't need these because this again is for music. But let's get our recorded MP3s from Zencaster, our guest file and our host file, which are recorded MP3s, of course. And we import them right at the beginning here, like this. Again, it takes a little while to convert. And we also have our guest track. There we go. And as you can see, they're going to be pretty long, depending on, of course, how long the recording is. But ideally, we know where things are going to be going when we have a format, a structure to our podcast. We know the music intro is going to happen. 
And we also know that we have another introduction to the interview proper. And I, I always just sort of import these right at the very beginning here. And similarly to how I showed you at the beginning was with the music intro track here. I just click and drag to where I think they're going to come in. So I see that the music intro here ends right around here. And this is where the introduction is going to go. We also have the ability to click shift when we're left clicking on the mouse and you're able to click and drag these tracks wherever they need to go. As you can see the intro, the pre-recorded intro here ends right around here. And we also have before the interview too, transitionary music into the interview. So we have this all together. Great. So this is definitely something we're going to be working with momentarily in an upcoming tutorial, but it's good to know where it is uh, under mix up here. Click on show automation. Cause this is going to be very important for when we want to uh, edit further, increase the volume, change the volume in any way. So we're going to have that enabled for when we're ready to get there. But first I think it's important to actually learn how to take certain elements out of the sound file, out of the file when we don't want them there. So that's going to be for the next tutorial on editing. So I'll see you there.